Hi everybody, it's me, your old friend Dale Howard. I want to share a tip with you today about how to display the nearly critical path in the Gantt chart view. Now you're probably going to say right away, nearly critical path, what in the world is Dale talking about? First of all, I think we know what the critical path is already. The critical path is the series of tasks that cannot be delayed without delaying the final finish date of the entire project. By default, we should all know that the critical path is determined by the tasks that have zero days of total slack. To display the true critical path, all we need to do is go to the format ribbon, and in the bar style section, we can select the checkbox called Critical Tasks. Microsoft Project will display the critical path. Every Gantt bar that is read is a truly critical task. We can confirm this by the total slack values of zero for each of the blue tasks. However, I want to let you know and ask you to notice that there are some tasks that are very close to being critical, but they're not quite truly critical. See these tasks that are blue? Each of them only has two days of total slack, which means if any one of them were to slip up to three days, or if several of them slipped a grand total of three days, the entire project finish date would slip in spite of the fact that these are not truly critical tasks. So one of the things I recommend you do is to display not only the true critical path of tasks that are truly critical, but include in the critical path tasks like these with a little bit of slack to display the nearly critical path as well. Now, here's how you display the nearly critical path. You go to File, Options, and you go to the Advanced tab. When you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the Advanced page of the dialog, the last option here is Tasks are critical if Slack is less than or equal to zero days. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how we get the true critical path. But if we want to see the true critical path plus nearly critical, we can change this number to our tolerance of how close a task needs to be to be considered either truly critical or nearly critical. So here's what I'd like to do. I want to see the true critical path tasks that have zero days of total slack, but any task that has up to two days of total slack, that'll give me the nearly critical path as well. So when I click OK, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Now we see tasks that do have total slack greater than zero, but we can see their Gantt bars are formatted in red, so we're seeing the true critical path and nearly critical tasks as well. The only trouble is, if I hide the total slack column, how in the world are you going to know which tasks are truly critical and which tasks are nearly critical? This is where you pull out another trick. In the bar style section of the format ribbon, there is another checkbox right below critical tasks called slack. And ladies and gentlemen, if you select the slack check box, here's what you'll see. Any task that is red colored Gantt bar but has a dark blue underscore to the right of it, like this first task right here, that's a nearly critical task. That dark blue underscore is the total slack. So any red Gantt bar, or in our case, look, here's a milestone right at the end of a red section. Whenever you see that blue underscore, you're knowing that all of these tasks right here are nearly critical. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the true critical path plus the nearly critical path as well. Thanks, everybody.